theme of her picnic. We'll look at those things. And then, was Williamson committing a crime, an illegal act, when a private company hired by the city to sweep the streets with their own equipment, their own sweepers, on their own time, and while sweeping the streets, they had put Patsy Lou Williamson's Senate signs and attached them to their sweepers. That's it, fans, in a nutshell. That's the allegations. That's what you're spending all your money on to find this out. You know, it's, you see Charlie Forrest, who was called, you'll see him, I should say, being called upon to give an opinion. He was the attorney hired by the city to sit in there. Charlie's a nice fellow, and I think he, uh, you know, uh, did everything he could to be fair on this in this hearing. But it's going to cost the city a lot of money. I mean, he doesn't come cheap. He's a good attorney. He's going to charge them for this. Subpoena people. You have to pay for that. The records that are kept, you have to pay for that. These are all additional to what you're paying these people for now. So it's not just insignificant. There is an expense here besides the issue of protecting a person's constitutional and legal rights to be free from someone attacking them because of their politics and possibly exposing them to jail. Something wrong with the system that allows that to happen. And there's ways to protect against that, fortunately. As I say, the courts and the prosecutors ultimately making a decision on some bad judgments that the councilmen make. And I don't know whether they're going to make a bad judgment. They still have a chance to decide this. The question is whether or not everybody can be fair. The opponents of Williamson's and the supporters of Williamson's, wherever the chips fall. Well, let's first look at some of the testimony. They kind of set the tone for the hearings. Uh, let, me, let me show you uh, uh, Mayor Williamson's kind of parting shot when he after he was testifying and um, um, Typical cheap shot in my opinion, but let's play that will you please? It's a model that I said wrong In the case of employees and not work on campaigns during city or state or federal time But they can at the hour of their own time Thank you. 
Well, I could understand why he felt kind of uh, contempt for this hearing. Uh, you know, they do constantly take shots at him. But you know, he's his, his own worst enemy, in my opinion. And but anyway, let's go on. And now well, let's look at a witness who was considered by the opposition to Williamson trying to point out that he had violated the law by using taxpayers' money to promote his wife's campaign. And uh, we have this witness who, as I say, was the star witness uh, as far as the opposition to Williamson was concerned. This was the witness that